My name's Karina and I'm proud to be British Nigerian. When I was born, my granddad gave me the name Oluwafemi, which he translated to God loves me. He died a few years ago and I'm proud to carry that name after he's gone. I'm proud of my Nigerian heritage because it represents the sacrifice that my parents made for me to have a better future. And I'm proud to be Irish because it represents the future of a multicultural nation. I'm proud to be black and Irish. Oh, I'm proud to be British Ghanaian because I do look at my surname as representing both our rich culture within our country, but also the struggles that my family had to go through as immigrants in the UK. And it essentially just gives me more momentum to help you know, prove to more first generation children that anything's possible. My name is Sana and I'm proud to be a Pakistani Muslim. Spending my childhood in Pakistan has really shaped me into the person that I am. When it comes to charity, giving to other people, thinking of other people. My dad owns a few free schools in Pakistan where they provide free education to other people. Kids who are orphans or disabled or from lower backgrounds. The values and morals that I hold come from my religion and the country that I've grown up in. I'm proud of the country. What I'm proud of is kind of my name in itself, Babalola, that's a kind of traditional Nigerian name. There's even a university in Nigeria called Bolu Babalola. Hi, I'm Parag, I'm proud to be British Asian. My dad came here from a young age, like he was probably about eight years old, so a baby himself. He grew up having been kicked out of Uganda by like Idi Amin, like the, the president, and then my granddaddy came in with five pounds in his pocket, like the standard sort of story, but seeing their drive and seeing how They've built what they've built coming to a country where they didn't know, didn't know how to speak English. Knowing that he's grown up with so much discrimination, that has just driven me and like now I'm so fortunate to be in such a forward company. I'm genuinely proud to be British Asian at the FOSS. I, have, I just feel really welcome here. I'm proud to be because my grandma's roots, I'm half Jamaican and she taught me how to cook and I love West Indian food. Firstly, I'm here because I'm proud to be Jamaican. I mean, first and foremost, who wouldn't want to be Jamaican? I'm proud of my Jamaican heritage for a load of reasons, really, um, ranging from the family parties I remember going to as a kid, hearing dancehall music blaring down the street as you approach. Hi, I'm Elson. I am proud to be Portuguese. I'm Mozambican and Cap Verdean has allowed me to have quite a varied experience when it comes to the cultures I was exposed to growing up, as well as an interesting change of foods as well, depending on what holidays were going on. So, Hi, my name's Kamni and I'm proud to be British Indian because my granddad travelled over here way back when in the 50s and made sure that we had a better life for ourselves here. I'm proud to be Persian. The Persian Empire predates back to 550 BC, so you can tell we're quite old. And we're also very well known for the Persian click, which is... Being Nigerian born and coming here at such a young age has allowed me to experience both cultures. A free world, basically, and I could have gone down the wrong path, but... I guess the, tr the upbringing, you know, my culture and the, the things I learned from my parents kept me in, the, in a straight and narrow and now I work at a great company and I believe that culture and that training I've, I've received from my parents enabled me to get to where I am today. So yeah, I am proud to be Nigerian.